Hey guys, this is Ian back with another video and today I'm going to unbox and review this KZZEX Pro and I'd like to thank Linso for sending this out to me for review. By the way, whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. This video has not been scripted and they will be watching this video at the same time as you guys are. Okay, so I'm going to open this up, see what's inside, listen to how it sounds, and let you guys know what I think of these IEMs. So stay tuned. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If this is your first time here, do consider to subscribe and click on the bell button so that you get notified of my future videos. Uh, but if you already subscribe, subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so this is the KZZEX Pro. Alright, this just arrived and I can't wait to open this up and show you guys what's inside. Uh, it's currently retailing for 42 US dollars. Um, it's, um, well, I would say an upgrade from the ZEX, but then again, it might not be, uh, but the name says it all, it's a ZEX Pro. Okay, so on the outside of the box is uh, basically a white box and it's got the picture of the IEMs themselves. Uh, on the this side, on this side, it shows um, the type, uh, the color that I've chosen, and the type. It doesn't come with the mic. I chose the one without the mic, and this is the black version. Uh, it's got a gold version as well, um, and um, pearl. But on the option, I don't see the pearl, so that may come out a bit later. Uh, on the back of the box, you can see um, some specs of it. Um, now. This is a very, very special IEM from KZ. It's a tribrid. So basically, it has got one BA, one DD, and one electric, electric driver. All right, so it's a tribrid. And this is the first attempt uh, from KZ uh, of producing a tribrid. And I might say, this is the cheapest tribrid that they is in the market right now is 42 US dollars. Um, and if you manage to snag this um, during the launch of this uh, IEM, good for you. Okay, so basically uh, it's um, 25 ohms in terms of the impedance and it's got a sensitivity of 104 dB. Um, it's a two pin, a QDC and pretty standard um, specs on the back. Okay, so let's open this up and it's a very typical um, packaging from KZ, uh, which I have unboxed a few in the past. So if you open this up, as you can see, um, the IEMs are right here. It's really, really nice IEM. This is the black and the black is very similar to the ZEX, the original ZEX. It's just that the shape is a little bit different, but um, let's take out the plastic cover. Okay, and let's take a look at the accessories, which is, you know, pretty standard. So you've got the cable. Okay, cables right here. Okay, so looking at the cable, this is a very standard KZ cable, which I think I have it right here. No, I don't. Okay, but it is a pretty standard cable. Uh, it's got the 3.5 headphone jack and pretty standard. And here you have the mic, which I think I ordered the one without the mic, but doesn't matter, it came with the mic. But this is the pretty standard um, mic, okay, that you get. And then on the memory ear hooks, uh, pretty standard as well, as you can see. And this is the two QDC 2 pin, okay, pretty standard. Okay, so cable wise, um, I guess you guys have seen, if you guys own the ZEX, this is a pretty standard uh, cable. It's a fully silicone covered um, cable. Uh, you don't see the braiding or any of the weaving of the cable itself, but yeah, pretty standard cable, okay. And then ear tips, I believe there should be two sets of ear tips here, ooh, okay. Yes, okay, so there are two sets of ear tips, okay, and you've got the 
large and the small right here and ear tips are pretty okay it's squishy and pretty hard it's not the soft type and yeah okay so let's take the IEMs out from the box itself okay and the M size tips are on the IEMs itself okay very very nice IEMs look at that this is the black okay so the black IEM is very very nice the faceplate is exactly the finishing on the faceplate is exactly the same as the ZEX it's like a matte spray painted finish uh, but please note that they uh, will chip okay so if you look at my ZEX the original original ZEX it chipped just a little bit uh, if you look at this one chipped just a little bit okay this is the one right here okay so um, just take note of that so it's exactly the same type of uh, um, paint okay spray painted finish so pretty nice and you got um, like a vent out here or is it a mic I'm not too sure but I don't think it's mic it's a vent out here and on this side here you can see it's a two pin connector okay and let's take the tip out so you can see right on the back all right so here you have a pit a fin all right so this is the fin right very nice fin and I as you guys if you guys watch my videos I like IEMs with fins okay so you have your dynamic driver right here and the electric driver inside as well and you've got the balance armature on here if I'm not wrong somewhere here yes it's somewhere here okay so that's the balance armature right inside okay so looking at the nozzle so the nozzle is made of brass and it's got this um, filter and it's pretty pretty wide bore uh, kind of uh, nozzle okay uh, if your ear canal is pretty narrow this might be a fit problem but if you don't then it's pretty okay but uh, yeah it's a pretty wide bore um, type of nozzle that you get okay so very nice IEM and it looks pretty good let's see how it fits on the ear okay so let's take this out back in right and the fit is really good so this reminds me of the DQ6 right so the DQ6 has got a pretty nice fit as well and if you look at the DQ6 okay comparing to the KZ ZEX Pro is almost similar okay it's just that the faceplate is a bit different but yeah so look at the the fin okay exactly the same okay the shape of it is exactly the same almost okay it's just that the faceplate is different but then again the DQ6 has got a different set of drivers and yeah I can feel that the fit is the same as the DQ6 and it does not fall off from my ear it's got a very nice fit on this side very very nice fit on this side and I'm getting a very good seal as well so no problems with that okay so I'm going to listen to some of my favorite songs on these IEMs and I'll let you guys know what I think of these IEMs when how it sounds so be right back okay so I've listened to a lot of my songs on these KZ ZEX Pro and here's what I think it sounds okay the sub bass sub bass is rumbly it's well smooth extended extension is pretty good it's not very extended um, compared to some of the IEMs that I have 
but the extension is good. It's clean. It's resolute. Okay, so the sub base is not a very strong sub base, uh, but it's clean and it's very very soothing. Mid base, mid base is not very thumpy. It's forward. It's well solid as well, but mid base is just a little bit laid back in my opinion compared to some of the IEMs that I've listened to but mid base is clean all right it's um, not muddy in fact in the resolution of the base of these IEMs are really good uh, you can hear the thump very clearly uh, the speed of it is pretty okay it's not really speedy um, and the IEM itself can really represent the bass really well. Kick drums are really punchy, but it's not a very solid, uh, it's not very hard punch. It's a very light but clean punch, if you know what I mean. The mids, okay, the mids in the mix is really good. So I would say the mids are pretty forward and um, in terms of percussions, the snares, the piano, the violins, and the all the other middle instruments uh, sound really good. Okay, uh, the detail resolution on these IMs are great. Okay, I can tell the uh, the micro details that it produces is really good. I think thanks to the the BA that is really helping this uh, sound really good in the mids. Uh, vocals, okay, male vocals really sound raspy and uh, forward, okay. Uh, it's not really rumbly kind of a low voice that they have, but it's very clear and it's not a very warm uh, sound as well. It's soothing, but it's not a very warm kind of vocals that you're going to get on these IEMs. Um, I would say the is more new, natural to neutral uh, than warm. Okay, it's not really thin. It's not thin, but you can tell that it's pretty natural. Female vocals. Female vocals are sparkly. Uh, it's less of an angelic sound. I wouldn't go up to that level of being angelic, but the tonality of it is, again, uh, might be the reason why it doesn't sound angelic to me, uh, because it might just sound natural and a little bit, uh, just a little bit warm, but not warm to that extent. Um, treble, treble is clear, as I said. Uh, it's not sibilant, it's almost bright, but to me, they're sparkly. Um, and I like the sparkle of uh, the treble on these. Uh, but some people may find it uh, a bit bright uh, on certain tracks. Um, and um, cymbals and hi-hats may sound a little bit harsh. Uh, but to me, I, I like it because it's sparkly to me. It's not to that level. Um, treble is not that much of a Ford, but it's present. And I would say um, in terms of an overall, um, this is a balanced uh, tuning, a very safe and balanced tuning for the ZEX Pro. Uh, it's not warm, it's neutral, not really neutral as well, it's natural. Uh, and yeah, it's a very safe tuning, I would say. Um, in terms of balance, everything is balanced. Okay, staging. Staging and imaging and positioning is really good. The detail resolution of these IEMs are really good. You can actually tell the different positions of the um, percussions and instruments. Very, You can pinpoint it. But the stage is not a really wide stage, unfortunately. Um, it's more intimate 
compared to some of the other IEMs that I have. Vocals are forward, uh, but then the depth is not present as well. Everything else seems to be at the same plane. Uh, more of a front um, and side kind of um, imaging and staging that you get from these IEMs. The detail resolution is really good. The retrieval of the detail is good as well. And overall, I think these are pretty quality uh, IEMs in terms of sound. Okay, so these are my thoughts of the ZEX Pro. Um, it's very, very good in terms of balance tuning. If you are someone who are listens to all kinds of genre of music, not in a particular sense of extremes like bass heads or treble heads, these IEMs are for you. And to be frank, um, at this price point, it's comparable to some of the IEMs, uh, not tribrids, um, uh, more expensive IEMs that I have. And um, at this price point, I mean, it's 32 US dollars. I mean, it's, it's really a steal, okay? It's very balanced. The resolution of these IEMs are good. And basically, it, it's uh, a budget IEM, okay? For this budget and getting a well-balanced tuning IEM is hard to get. And at, at, at a tribrid, you know, a, a tribrid in this market, you know, is uh, pretty expensive. Yeah, so should you get one of these? Yes, I do recommend you getting one of these if you are going for that harmon balance tuning, more of a natural tuning, not so much for the bass heads and not so much for the, you know, uh, treble heads. But if you like a balanced kind of thing, this is for you. And if you have an amp, um, it's good because this is pretty scalable as well. You can actually boost the bass just a little bit if you want to get more bass out of these because of the advantage of the tri-brid that you have. You have the electric and you have the dynamic driver that can be scaled. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty versatile IEM, I would say. Um, but comparing to, let's compare it to the original ZEX, okay? So the original ZEX comes with an electric driver. Well, it's not electrostatic. Uh, but in terms of the tuning, these are more V-shaped uh, compared to the Pro. And uh, to be honest, uh, they have very, very different tuning, okay? These are really tuned well for an electric driver. Um, I would say uh, the best tuning that I can find in the KC uh, range of products. And well, it's a very popular product for one that reason. For these, these are basically uh, making use of the three different types of drivers to achieve a, a balanced uh, tuning. And um, in terms of tuning wise, these have more bass, a stronger, um, more present and thumpy bass compared, compared to these in terms of stock. By the way, um, the equipment that I use is all stock, okay? Um, I don't change any of the tips or the cable or the settings on the amp that I use. So in comparison, these ZEX uh, are very different from the Pro, okay? So if you guys have the ZEX, um, I still recommend you to get the Pro because they are both very different in terms of tuning. And for this price, I think uh, you get a different experience compared to the ZEX. Yeah. Okay, so that's a very quick comparison to the original ZEX. And that concludes my review of this ZEX Pro. So if you guys learned something from this video and if you guys uh, made a decision based on this video, I hope you guys can give this 
video a thumbs up. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.